Hey, welcome back everyone. Welcome to another devlog for my Playdate platformer. Uh, I'm trying something a little bit different this week. Uh, it's Monday right now. I just posted last week's devlog. Uh, and I'm going to try live documenting this week's development. Uh, so my main task for this week is to try to make the level editor. So let's see what I can get done. It's been a little bit and I've been working on the first issue with the level editor. So basically with any level editor, usually you have some sort of icon uh, and they associate with parts of the level and they also come in different categories. And you need a way to basically manage all that data. Um, and so that's basically what I've been working on. It's not super exciting. Um, it's kind of the boring part of game development, but you got to do it. Uh, it's not the most prettiest solution, but I'm kind of lazy. So I just went with some really dumb, obvious approach. It's Susie right now, and I just got a little bit of work done for the level editor. I have this list on the side that shows you the different blocks that you can place down. But I think I made a mistake. So these three icons are supposed to indicate the three different heights that you can place a block at. But I realized that you can probably just consolidate them all and have you select a height in the main area. So it's back to the drawing board and I need to redo the data a bit. Wednesday night right now, um, I just sat down about an hour ago to get some work done. And let me show you what I got so far. So you can see I kind of consolidated the icons on the right side because I made this thing where you can kind of move the selected block around and made it so the crank um, changes what block you're selecting. Um, so the framework's all there. Um, if you can't place down any of the blocks yet, but uh, it kind of looks a lot more like a level editor now. And it looks pretty good on device. So I'll catch back with you guys once I got some more work done. All right, I'm back. I've made some progress. Uh, I got the block placement code working. So you just press A, and you can move up or down and place a block wherever you want. Um, it's working pretty well. Um, since you only can have one block per level, uh, it just replaces the block that's there. Uh, you can't have multiple blocks per level just because of the, how the level encoding works. And you can press B to delete it. And it turned out to be pretty simple. It's only like basically these 15 ish lines of code. Um, but now I have an issue where there's no scrolling. So if you go off screen, uh, it should probably follow where your cursor is. So I'm going to implement that next. Maybe I'll get to it tonight and possibly push it off to tomorrow. Uh, and I'll see you then. It's Thursday now, and I just spent a little bit of time working on the level editor some more. Um, here's what I worked on, um, just this scrolling animation. Uh, I put it off until today because I thought this scrolling animation would be kind of difficult to implement, but it turned out to be really simple because I realized that the grid view component that's built in with the Playdate SDK uh, has a scrolling functionality like that. So I just popped into the source code and just copied their code instead. It just uses some timers and some update callbacks. Uh, pretty simple, and it turned out pretty well. Next task is probably to make it so that you can actually play the levels that you make in the level editor. So I'll get cracking on that next. It's later at night now, and I just made it so you can actually play the levels that you create. All you have to do is go to the menu and click the Play Level button, and it loads up your level into something that's playable. Um, it works pretty well this way, but an issue that I actually have is um, when you go back, it doesn't load up your level again. It just resets back to the beginning. Uh, I just have to implement that, but I kind of shot myself in the foot there since I made it really easy to go one way, but uh, the way I have the data set up, it doesn't really go easily back the other way. So I have to kind of figure out a solution for that, but I'll get back to you when I figure it out, probably sometime tomorrow. It's currently Friday in the afternoon, and I was just able to finish the feature that I talked about yesterday. So this is a playable level, but now you can go back to the level editor and it loads up that same level into the level editor. Uh, so it's working pretty well. Uh, the code is not pretty, but I think I've just come to accept the fact that I care more about code velocity rather than code quality. So now the level editor is feature complete. Um, there's a couple of polishing things that I would want to do. For example, maybe some sort of grid in the background to show you where you can place blocks. Uh, it's not obvious that this is the start of the level. You can't go further left. And there's like a level limit as well. I just made it 100 blocks, um, but you can't go past 100 blocks long. Um, I can change that in the future. And probably some sort of particle effects and sound effects and everything. But it's working, and I'm pretty happy with it. 
It's currently Saturday morning, and I just spent a little bit of time polishing up the level editor. So I added the name in the top left corner of the block. Uh, so that should make it easier to tell what it is, and also some arrows to show the direction that these spikes move. Hopefully that should make it a little bit easier to understand what's going on. Uh, there's definitely a lot more polish left to be done on the level editor, but it's, you know, usable. And I'm going to be uploading it to my Patreon, so if you want to mess around with the level editor and try making some levels and, and help me playtest it, um, you can hop over to my Patreon and the build will be up there. And also my source code as well. Uh, that's pretty much it for this week. Let me know what you guys thought about this format. I know it's kind of scuffed. Uh, it's my first time doing something like this. And let me know if you want to see more devlogs in this style or you like the older style better or you know just any thoughts about that. Alright, see you next week.